Uh, a few months ago, I made a video about this computer. This is a, a Lenovo ThinkPad T420. It's a laptop computer from the uh, early 2010s. Um, I bought it on eBay a few months ago. It's been a really good machine. It's in uh, quite quite well used, but in decent condition, and came with a virtually new battery. Uh, I upgraded it with a, a spare. Uh, 500 gigabyte SSD, which I had lying around, and it's been a really good machine. I did, uh, you will have to excuse the slight crack in the uh, lid. I uh, managed to drop it and break the lid, but the uh, rest of the machine did survive. But the one issue I have with this, you will see here, it has a modem port. On the back here, it has a USB port and a modem port. Uh, now, these are actually configurable when you bought them. Uh, you could have had nothing there, you could have had a modem there, or you could have had a Firewire port there. Uh, now, I'd like a Firewire port, because I use uh, digital video, and uh, indeed the camera I'm recording this on has a Firewire port, as do all my others. So, And I have been using this camera for uh, video editing. Uh, you can see just here, there's a little board, which is this uh, USB socket and the uh, modem jack are mounted onto. Um, that's just a little board on its own, and you can take that out and swap it. I've got here another board. This one has a USB port and a small 4-pin Firewire port. Uh, now you can get these uh, replacement boards on eBay sometimes, relatively cheap. But, uh, one thing we'll notice on here, there's virtually no electronics. There's just a few components there. I'm not, I'm not sure what they are. They look like... Um, no, they're not capacitors. They're marked FL and one's marked D. I'm not sure what they are. They look like something relating to the power supply. That's probably a capacitor on top. Uh, but there's no electronics on here, so there's no Firewire controller on here. If we take a look inside the machine here, you'll notice there is a modem card. The modem is on this board here. I don't know whether if they have Firewire functionality, whether you would have to take that modem card out and replace it with a Firewire card. I have heard of people simply replacing the, the modem sockets with these ones, and it's worked. So I'm going to guess that the Firewire controller is actually somewhere else in the computer, but there's no mention of it in the BIOS or in Windows, so I don't know if this computer even has a Firewire controller on it. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that little board out there, the modem connector, put the firewire in, and see what it does. Now, I've got the machine disassembled here. Um, it wasn't too hard to take apart. You basically have to remove all the screws on the bottom, uh, screw near the memory, that lifts the keyboard out, and the uh, bezel and trackpad. Uh, just got to figure out where the little clips are, and uh, you can uh, remove that. Uh, this display, there's uh, screws on the bottom and screws on the top of the hinges, and then that just lifts out. So I'm just going to take this board out and uh, I'll see if I can do that on camera. There we go. Might be a bit difficult to see on camera because it's quite small, but that's just lifted out on its own. So I'm just going to completely remove the modem. To be honest, I'm not too bothered about having a modem because I don't really use modems anymore. I say even for backup internet, I even have LTE for backup internet now. I've got a, a micro tick LTE uh, router thing. And this uh, Firewire card has a nice little connector on there, which should just mate into that one. Just blow the dust out. There we go, that goes right in, and stick the screws in. There we go. Now the only oddity that you will notice 
bring out that in focus. Is that you've got a firewire port sticking out of a, a hole for a telephone port. Um, I haven't got the correct firewire uh, plastic hole, so I'm just going to leave that as long as it's not causing any obstructions, it'll be fine. That's come on. And you enter the BIOS. F1. I can't really see the screen very well from that angle, but uh, that's the uh, BIOS screen. I just want to see if it tells us anything about hardware. Is it still called Device Manager on? Windows 7 Device Manager though, I'm still so used to Windows XP Yeah, there's no mention of 1394 there but we have got other devices, we've got a serial port simple communications controller and an unknown device Ah oh, well that's interesting I think we might have missed it on screen, but in the corner it says your device driver is installed successfully. What I'd done was, I just plugged in a DV camcorder. Uh, this is a, a Sony HC1. It's in DV mode rather than HDV mode. It's in camera mode. I've got Adobe Premiere running with the capture window open and you can see we've got video, it says tape ejected in the top so yeah, obviously it does work close the capture window that's gone now let's have a look in device manager ah yeah, there we go look if we have a look in device manager we have an option there for 1394 controllers and it is there, Rico 1394 OHCI compliant host controller is right there look so I don't know what those unknown devices are down there but if I turn the camcorder off will that go? Well, it knows it's disconnected, but it's actually kept the 1394 controller there, so obviously it does work. That's been a success. It'll be excellent to be able to capture DV and HDV video on this laptop. Um, I don't know why it didn't show up in Device Manager initially, and I don't know why it didn't show up in the BIOS. You'd think it probably would do, but uh, maybe it'll stay there. It's probably works that you tend to get with uh, systems like Windows. So, yes, turns out all you need to do is take out the modem board and put in a firewire uh, socket. The controller is already built into the laptop, so I can happily do video on here now. Anyway, I hope someone might have found that interesting or useful, and I've got to try and put it back together now.